It stopped moving. Snake, you did it! You stopped the launch! Yui, how's NORAD? Not good! Vmuse continues to track the targets on radar. The SP satellite status is green. Still assessing as reliable. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, a representative of the Secretary of Defense and Congress, have arrived at NMCC. You've only damaged the drive system. The data uplink still intact. We've got 1,500 Soviet ICBMs crossing the North Pole. Target region is confirmed as the west coast of the United States. Go to DEFCON 2. Prepare to launch ICBMs. How do I make it stop? Peace Walker is a fully autonomous system. Unlike the other machines you fought, its command authorities are all located inside its cerebrum, the Mammal Pod. We've got to stop the Mammal Pod. I don't have the abort code either. Coldman was the only one. Snake, destroy the AI inside the Mammal Pod. The inner barrier protecting the Mammal Pod is designed to be as strong as a bomb shelter. What's it gonna take to get through? I guess an atomic bomb will do it. You trying to be funny? No, I'm telling you, that armor was designed to withstand a nuclear war. Hmm. We can't get through to the president. The decision is on us. You can't be serious. There's no way I'm gonna wipe out the human race. This is the president's call. There's no time for that. We need a decision now. Huey, call NORAD. We have to tell them the nukes aren't real. I'll give it a shot. Forget the order of succession. If we're all going to hell, let's take those bastards with us. We have 12 minutes to impact, sir. May God have mercy on our souls. Jesus. Coleman guessed wrong. They're gonna go through with it! The platform sustained a lot of external damage. All we need is some pressure. Pressure? Sink it in the lake! With that much water pressure, even the tiniest crack should be enough to flood the innards. The AI pod is a mass of highly sensitive electronics. Short the contacts and the signal will stop. How much does that thing weigh? 500 tons. It's hopeless. We can't move that thing. Get NORAD on the phone. Incoming Merv warheads have separated. What about all the magical choppers we had? Just minutes. surely you could attach it. Sir, we've got a call. The president? No, sir. Then who? He, um... Spit it out! He claims to be Big Boss. Big Boss? Patch him through. Mr. Chair, Where do you get that phone? Get to the point. Cancel the retaliatory strike now. What? The radar. I'm serious. Where did you get that phone? Fakes. No one's launched any nukes. How do you know? It's a pretty basic phone. I don't know why he would carry that. You weren't supposed to receive it. Your radar is showing missiles that don't exist. If you're lying, then we've got ten minutes till we're toast. We have to retaliate or more Americans die. The experiment was planned and executed by the CIA station chief in Central America. Then put him on! He's dead. I can give you his name, though. We need more than the authentication code you gave the switchboard. We need proof you're actually Big Boss. Do you have any? <sighs> All right. If you know the name Big Boss, then maybe you were there at the ceremony when I received the title from President Johnson. Indeed I was. We don't have time for this bullshit! Hold it! Let's hear him out. You were saying? At the ceremony, the DCI tried to shake my hand. I refused. What happened in that room is classified. Top secret. Only a handful of people would know. He's making it up! Don't listen to it! Wait! Why did you refuse to shake his hand? Because I knew where my loyalty belonged. Everybody, listen to me. Those Soviet missiles are fakes. What? You're actually going to believe him? He's right. This is some sort of commie trick. No, it's the real big boss. Trust me. How can you know for sure? Because I was the Army Chief of Staff back then, and I was standing right next to the DCI when it happened. I saw everything. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that that, that surprise all, face! Boss. We'll stand down the alert. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, another again, way you could know this I big boss is because head. of his fucking voice. <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry, Chairman, but we are not standing down. Damn it! Those worthless sacks of. 
way. Jack. Jack. Oh, it's opening. She's calling to you. <laughs> Destroy the memo pod and the data will stop flowing. Please stop her. I think he got the phone from that truck then. Because it, I, it, did, it doesn't look like he was inside the truck when he was using the phone, though. It's weird. I've been waiting, Snake, for a long time. Waiting for your birth, your growth, and the finality of today. Boss. Like us, all for you to take. I didn't raise you and shape you into the man you are today, just so we could face each other in battle. They give you so much time to do this. This is very painful. And never has been. And the reason is that our enemies are human beings like us. They can only be our enemies in relative terms. The world slowly killing the boss. And then the inside of it somehow. Like, I don't know how it's doing the butterfly thing. And, uh, those, uh, flowers. But all I can say is, uh, Kojima. That's the only reason you need. The lonely fox chases the one-eyed hound. That's basically a solid snake. Big boss. And now they're all butterflies. Isn't that supposed to be like, uh, da, 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 da. damn it, uh, periodic table in Japanese? Uplinks bypassing the mammal pod. Put down the gun. Come to your senses, man. The fate of the world, the fate of the Earth is at stake here. Why? I don't understand. Answer me. Tell me why. Answer me. You can feel the emotion now. behind I'm that. I'm ordering a retaliation. No, don't. It's the end of us all. Who gives a damn? I'm not going to sit here and die like a dog. If the Russians are going to kill my family, destroy my country, I'm taking them with me. You see now, Chairman. Deterrence is just a fool's dream. Why? Why won't it stop? Sometimes the body continues to live even after the brain is damaged. The boss AI isn't doing this. I think it's something rather more primitive. Reptile has taken up mammal's dying wish. No. Stop it. Don't just sit there. Stop it! Ah! 
with just an M16. <laughs> like, I'm talking about, in actuality, if we take all the cutscenes into consideration, Snake destroyed Peace Walker with just an M16. I'm not... Ba uh, that's how uh, that's what I'm saying is canon be th thanks to all the cutscenes it's uh, th like that's how I see it it doesn't matter how you destroy it the con the canon way it was done it was big boss with an m16 that's it and it was a level one m16 so that was a lot of ammunition. I don't know how many supply markers it would have taken to destroy all the mechs with just a level 1 M16. Let's actually do Peace Walker again. This is the third battle. Third and final battle for Peace Walker. And this is not counting the custom and uh, Mark II. Snake, you have to stop that data from being sent. Okay. So we're going to take care uh, of that uh, battle armor. So tiger stripe. I don't know why I switched that. I should have kept that. Um, you know what? I'm actually just using M16. Yeah, just, just use an M16. Supply marker. And a 1911. So far, I don't even know if you can actually lose this mission. I don't think you can, but... Pretty much at this point, anything you throw at it could damage it. I think this is so far working. I don't know. I've attacked pretty much everything. With just a 1911, just beat the shit out of it.
Oh, I, oh my god, when I first saw this, I was tripping out. I was like, what? The hell just happened? Beautiful man. When the human brain is damaged, sometimes it recovers over time. Other parts of the brain take over the functions of the damaged parts. Mammal and reptile were patterned after different parts of the human brain. When those parts were assembled together into one, they must have become capable of functional compensation. God, Denver got flooded with peace. It's like completely covered with peach signs. Her memories remained with her. Is this her answer? The song. It's clearly not thinking rationally. It's not using its head. It's using its heart. This is the fate she chose for herself. <sighs> the boss's innocence has been proven. Do you hear it, Snake? Do you hear the boss's song? <laughs> you saw it, didn't you? When you went to space, that there's beauty outside of battle. At last, I understand. In the end, it was you who put down your gun and chose instead to sing. They can all hear you. I know they can. And your will shall surely live on. 
That's what you wanted. So much that you gave up everything you had. But you couldn't achieve it. Isn't that right? And still, all you can do is sing. There's no peace to be found anywhere. And so, we can only keep on hoping. Hoping for the illusion we call peace. So that's the first ending to Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Not bad. I honestly thought that if it ended right there, it would have been fine. Honestly, it would have made sense to start Ground Zeroes after this. This is doorknob missions and shit. It would have been nice to have it be in Ground Zeroes instead. And then the whole thing with Paz happens with Zeke and stuff. But then there would be no point to actually building your own Zeke. You know, and customizing it and stuff. There would be no point. But it would make sense due to... Because Big Boss throw away the, throws away the bandana, right? But he still wears it in the game. It's like... Okay. So... It's like, yeah. Just because of that, I think it would have made sense to have it have Ground Zero start from that point and have Peace Walker end here. Because technically, Peace Walker is all about Peace Walker. You destroyed it. Now, and now something else happens? I don't know. Uh, it's weird, you know? But, you know, I guess we can just, like, forget about it and not really think about it too much. November 24th, 1974, the U.S. and Soviet Union agree on the framework of foresaw two talks treaty. The treaty limits the number of strategic nuclear derivatives. Uh, damn it. I can't read those. They're too long. Just, you know, pause it and read it. Then unpause and keep going. Repeat until satisfied. Dr. Huramus becomes a father, he names his son Hal. So yeah, Huey is uh, Otacom's father. Snake, you still here? Come on, let's go back. I'm not going back. Huh? I'm done. Snake, you don't mean... I'm done looking for the truth. What are you saying, Snake? I was wrong. Come on, boss. Everybody's waiting for you. She betrayed me, cuz. She what? 
down her gun. And when she did, she rejected her entire life up to that point. Including me. What do you mean? In giving up her life, she abandoned everything she was as a soldier. And you consider that betrayal? I won't make the same choice as her. My future is going to be different. Then? Yeah, that's right. From now on, call me Big Boss. Big Boss. Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. So yeah, that's the first ending. It's the first ending of Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. And it's by far a good ending. And after that you unlock the tuxedo for whatever reason. And new co-ops mission, uh, co-ops comms.